Okay, hello. Welcome to this short video in which I will go through the main steps that you need to take to program a short experiment in Superlab. The experiment that we're going to try and recreate is this lexical decision task that you've seen in class. Uh, let me just hit play and show you what it's like. Uh, there are some instructions. We need to press W for words and N for non-words. And then there are items like ref, that's a non-word. Flake, also a non-word. Five, that's a word. Sop is a non-word, but if I press W, then I get the negative feedback. Okay, that's what we want to do. And we'll start from scratch, uh, just to take another look at the structure we have three blocks, instructions, the experiment, and a uh, goodbye message. Uh, the instructions link to an instruction trial, which has an instruction event. The experiment lists to two sorts of trials, word trials, non-word trials. The word trials have a fixation cross and then the presentation of a word. Non-words also the fixation cross, number of uh, a non-word. And uh, yeah, there's also feedback involved with the experiment trials and then the goodbye message links to the end trial which links to the end event. Okay, I'm um, going to close this and uh, to start a new experiment you go on file and new and this is what comes up. Uh, we're asked to select an input device, uh, we'll just say okay to the keyboard, uh, that means any feedback that we'll give in the experiment will be keyboard keys. Okay, and now let's see what we can remember from the uh, experiment that you've seen, seen just a minute ago. First of all, let's save this. Uh, that's something you do with this icon here. Uh, I'm going to call it lexical and save it on the desktop. You can save it wherever you like. Okay, now let's uh, recreate the three blocks. First of all, we have an intro block Okay, an experiment block. You do this with the, the plus sign here, new block. Um, and uh, a goodbye block. Okay. Uh, now I move on to the trials box here. We want trials, we want an intro trial. Okay. We want words, obviously. We want one word. And we want a goodbye screen. Okay, and the events, you remember we had an intro, and we can already uh, type in the text for the intro screen. Um, see here. Intro is an event type. We use text that I enter below. Um, hello. How are you? Blah, blah, and so on and so forth. Um, of course, here you would normally put your ordinary instructions. <clears throat> and if you click on this, you see that uh, this screen will stay on for as long as the participant doesn't uh, click any key on the keyboard. That's exactly what we want. So we'll simply say OK. Right, then we need uh, events for the words. Words. And uh, here we're actually going to use lists. I'll, I'll show you how that works in a minute. For now, let's just click on OK. Um, non words, also OK. And um, yeah, the <clears throat> fixation cross. Uh, okay, that's a plus that you type in. And in the input, we want to make sure that the fixation cross stays on for one second, thousand milliseconds, automatically. Okay, so this will show up for one second and then uh, disappear. <clears throat> what 
well, the word will appear, okay, but the cross will be gone. So that's that. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, um, the goodbye message. Okay, and then you write something more sensible than I. Right, okay, so uh, we're still missing something named the uh, wrong and right uh, feedback. So, feedback correct. <laughs> and uh, we'll deal with this later. I'm just going to set it up right now. Okay, so these are the items that we also had in the experiment that you've already seen. Now, one important thing that we need to do is to link these blocks with trials with events. So if I highlight intro, I can select items from the trials that I want linked with uh, this block intro. Um, experiment, I want to link with words and non-words. And goodbye, I want to link with goodbye. Okay, now I sort of do the same with the trials and events. So the intro I can highlight and uh, link with the intro screen. So that means when the intro block comes up, it goes into the intro trial and calls on the intro events, showing the message that we've written. Uh, words, we want to have the fixation cross and the words um, for non-words, we want non-words and the fixation cross. Um, okay, now we need to do something. Namely, we need to move the fixation cross up so that when we have words, the fixation cross comes first and then the words. And when we have the non-words also, fixation cross and then the non-words. Okay, finally, for goodbye, we link this with goodbye. Okay. Excellent. Now, uh, I said we would uh, set up stimuli lists. That's something that we need to do now. Um, that's something that you do in the upper menu here. If you click on experiment, you can find an item, uh, stimulus lists. Okay, and here we can create lists of words, lists of pictures, anything. So let me click on plus here and create a list of uh, text elements, I'll call it words, and uh, in this field I can enter the words that I want to use. So I'm going to say uh, apple, uh, monkey, <coughs> uh, computer, child, and uh, couch, five, that's enough for now. Okay, another list, text elements, words. Um, okay, and then here I just uh, put in random stuff, right? So, Earth's <clears throat> SDFG, SDF. Um, so I'm just fooling around here, right? Um, okay, non-words. Good enough. Excellent. So we have our two lists, and now we want to associate the events with these lists. So I'm going to double click on words and you see here in this file, uh, in this field, I can select something namely text chosen from a list and since the program is uh, semi-intelligent, it all already proposes something to me. Okay, from the lists that we have, we choose the words. Um, okay, that's good. We do the same for non-words. But here, of course, we pick the non-words. Excellent. Okay, good. Um, now, what do we do next? <clears throat> uh, maybe we can click on this and say, okay, we want to randomize the trials and we also want to randomize the stimulus lists across trials so that uh, 
we don't know what the next upcoming thing will be, a, non, a word or a non-word. So I'm going to click OK. Um, save intermittently, OK? So try to save uh, every couple of minutes so you don't lose things. All right, and now you see actually that here the words and non-words have changed, so you can see that they're actually using lists yeah, here too. Okay. Mm, yeah. That looks good. Looks good. That also looks good. Okay. And here <clears throat> we've got the stimulus input should uh, stay on the screen and disappear only after a response from the participant. And the our <laughs> here we should probably say reset the reaction time timer. And now we need to deal with the correct response. <clears throat> And uh, so we want to say that for, for Apple, people should press the W key because it's a word. And for, for non-words, like Earths, people should press the N key because it's a non-word. See, I can go back and forth with these previous and next buttons. So um, we need to do something about this field here where we deal with the responses. And for that, I can click on this here, edit responses, and uh, select keys that will be uh, possible responses in the experiment. So um, that's something that I do here. If I click on new, I can click, for instance, on the W. Um, wait, wait, uh, I give the response a name first. So uh, if something is a word, then the response consists of pressing the key W. Okay, nice. Uh, one more. If the response is a non word, uh, we use the key N. Okay, we're done. Excellent. So now we can associate these words with uh, correct responses. So the first thing we need to do one or more of the following is correct, namely word. For monkey, Exactly the same, word is correct, pewter, one or more of the following, word, child, same thing, couch, one or more of the following, word. Okay, save, do the same thing for non-words. Okay, <clears throat> so for Ertz, non-word is correct. One word. Okay, you see that this takes a little time, it's a bit repetitive, but it's okay. We'll manage. There we go. Okay. So now uh, I'm going to save, and actually, this should already work as an experiment. So I'm going to try and click uh, play and see whether everything works in the way that I expect it to work. Okay, my instructions. I'm going to hit space. Monkey, that's a word. One word, one word, one word, one word, one word, 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 word. Okay, that's it. Okay, um, of course, what's missing still uh, is the feedback, whether I've done something right or whether it was wrong. And for that, again, we would click on the events, and you notice that here's this thing, feedback. And uh, okay, here we select, okay, if the response is correct, then do something, perform the following actions, namely, scroll down, scroll down, um, present an event, namely, feedback correct. Okay. And if the response is not correct, 
and then scroll, present another event, namely feedback wrong. Okay, the same for non-words. Response is correct. Present event, feedback correct. If the response is not correct, present event, feedback wrong. Okay, so now we need to deal with these two events here, feedback correct and feedback wrong. And what we want to do is we want these events to be uh, sounds that play, and here you see the sound files wrong and correct. We're going to associate these sounds with these events. So that's the stimulus uh, that we're going to use, and the event type is going to be a audio file. And now we can select Uh, correct, open, and we can play this. <laughs> okay, um, let's see, feedback wrong, audio file, select file, uh, wrong. <laughs> nasty. Okay, so I wonder if this works. Let's see. Ha! Huh. Oh dear. Okay, something is not working right. That's something that I need to look into. Okay, for me, when I hit the response, then the experiment doesn't move on to the next try, to the next event, so I need to look into that. <clears throat> uh, let's see, this could be to do with the feedback. So the input. Uh, okay, here it says after any response from the participant, but I want it to be immediately after the event is presented. Okay, the sound plays and boom, uh, onto the next stimulus. Uh, feedback wrong. To set this immediately after the event is presented. Okay, I'm going to save. <clears throat> Try again. Now the event, now the sounds don't play. That's odd. <laughs> okay, maybe I should deselect this. Look for participant input while audio is playing. <clears throat> Another try. That looks good. Okay. Yeah, so there you have it. I mean, this should be working. Uh, yeah, let me just uh, run the experiment one more time, and this time save the collected data. So I'm going to input a few numbers here, just you know, just so there is a number. Save it on my desktop, and do this as fast as I can. Okay, now I'm going to make a mistake, so that we have a few mistakes. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
Right, so now here's this result file that has appeared. And lo and behold, we have a reaction times and here are the arrow codes. So this thing I answered in the wrong way. Okay, so this actually looks good. Excellent. Uh, if you have trouble recreating the experiment, maybe uh, go back and forth in this video to see where the problem is. And if you can't figure it out, write me an email so that you don't spend hours and hours trying to fix a problem that has a very easy solution. Okay, that's it. See you on Monday.